the sea is this unforgiving place and shipwrecks are the result of those who disrespected it. Spooky leftovers that are waiting to be taken back by nature. Our plan is to dive from an abandoned shipwreck into the water, but even just to get there was a hell of a challenge. We're gonna jump the fence in 10 seconds. We are chased. We are chased. Pontus, yes. what has been your highest cliff dive? Uh, 25 meters. What has been your coolest cliff dive? Mm, probably one where I climbed that was maybe 18 meters. On the left it was highway with cars driving, on the right it was ice and then a small patch of water and I did a double front flip down into the water. Missing the ice, missing the highway, that was cool. That sounds indeed very cool. <laughs> but today we're going to the shipwreck. One of my bucket list things is actually to jump from a shipwreck. So when I heard rumors about a shipwreck in the water, obviously I got pretty excited. All right, so we're going to do this today. And hopefully after that, this will be your coolest cliff dive. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to live up to. <laughs> So there's actually this abandoned airplane on the way to the ship and uh, we want to try to get on top of it because this is an item on my bucket list as well to do a backflip on top of an airplane. Do you think there's no chance to get in? Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's see. see. Alright, let's, let's give it a try. Yeah. First, we need to get closer to get a better view of the situation. Wow, there it is. Looks, looks really cool. They have moved the plane, apparently, inside the airport. And for obvious reasons, they do not want people. Let's ask the locals, like, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Otherwise, I think it would be the best to just walk up there, climb the fence, do it, yeah. come back and leave. Yeah. Maybe this is electrified, like it has electricity or something. Oh. It's just dangerous, and there's so many signs prohibited not yeah. allowed. Yeah, it's a hard decision. It's a very hard decision. The only downside is that we get caught inside the airport. Uh, we will not be able to uh, go to the ship. Yeah. yeah. We know that most likely we will be spotted by securities. So to make this happen, we need a proper escape plan that we are faster than our enemy. I mean, look at this airplane. We just have to give this a shot. So the plan is we both jump the fence, go in, and in the meantime, the other guys are driving the cars around. And once we, we've done it, we come back, give them a sign, and we're gonna jump over the, the fence again and get into the car and fuck off. Woo. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. I got a heightened heartbeat. Yeah. We're gonna jump the fence in 10 seconds. Step up. I actually didn't expect that we are able to go inside the airplane, so that's why... It's another bucket list item of mine is to do a backflip inside the airplane. <sighs> okay, let's run down, tell the guys on the walkie. <laughs> yeah. All right. So there's a guy waiting for us, we probably have to talk our way out. Oh, 
way. We have a pickup plan, we but we are chased. We are chased. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, man. So there were two bucket list items on my list. One of them was doing a backflip on top of an airplane, <laughs> and the other one was to do a backflip inside of the airplane. And I did both of them. <laughs> With security Woo! screaming. Get down from there! Can you hear me? That was an adventure. That was an adventure, man. <laughs> How does it feel now, Joel, when uh, you Super exhausted. Achieved? Yeah, it feels good, but there's still the pressure because like there were some guys taking videos of us that looked like securities or friends of securities. So I'm still like, okay, it's not done yet. I think once I'm back to Austria, <laughs> once, once, once they let me out of, of uh, Dubai, I will celebrate. <laughs> oh, let's head to that fucking shrimp wreck and cool down. <sighs> Ooh, all right, that was such a hustle. I'm actually still sweating. Um, but yeah, we are at the new location and the ship is over there. I really hope we don't have to jump a fence again for, for the ship. Well, the ship was right there in front of us and it looked perfect. But as we got closer, the security was on us again telling us that we're not allowed to even be here, let alone swimming out to the shipwreck. What a disappointing moment. We were so close, but now we gotta turn around and accept that because of all the security, it wouldn't even be possible to have the session that we would like to have on that ship. I did some research and I actually found another uh, abandoned ship that we could try to go to. Another one? Yes. So, like, it's obviously, like, it's not as big as the other one. I mean, if we would be able to jump, like... From there, maybe? From there, still yeah, high. that could still be cool. Yeah, that's the only, that's the only thing. But I guess we could just give it a shot tomorrow yeah. and see maybe there's still a possibility for you to take off this goal. If, there, if it's deep enough, then there's no issues. <laughs> like how deep would it have to be to jump from, what's that, like seven meters? Uh, I would feel comfortable with uh, three and a half meters of depth, if it's sand bottom. Maybe we should check um, ebb and flood. Like if oh, there's... I, yeah. I'm not sure if Good there's point. Flood. Good point. Not sure. So we have a plan for tomorrow. Let's not give up yet. Turns out this car is not made for driving in the sand. Let's give that a shot and then maybe... Good, right? It became such a challenge now to accomplish that goal of yours. <laughs> hopefully we are more lucky with this one. And hopefully it's big enough to count. Right. <laughs> looks tiny. Yeah. <laughs> looks very small. now finally managed to get on a shipwreck but there was a new problem the water depth is literally less than two meters deep which makes it just too risky to dive from the top and therefore fulfill Pontus's bucket list goal 
but of course we still wanted to see what we can do here and have the best session possible. The thing that scares me is it's very narrow here, so like the stair kind of dictates my angle. That's the thing that uh, I am uh, scared about. The pipe? So, no, the, you see the thing that's ah, the green there. one. So I really need to, because my arm is gonna be roughly there, so I need to keep them. But don't you think you're gonna jump over? Yeah, anyway. maybe. One, two, three. Yes. Like Pontus is standing there. But yeah, you see, it's like <laughs> to here. <laughs> yeah, waist height. That's wow. crazy. But yeah, that's definitely something that we are, or especially Pontus is experienced in. So it's not something that we just do. It's definitely good to have some respect for water depth because it can be can get really dangerous if you hit your back or anything. So yeah, we are definitely aware of that. Two, three. This goal may remain on Pontus's bucket list because he said I don't consider it high enough to be like what I really wanted to do but still mwah, such a good session and look at look this at sunset. This. this video is a great example that sometimes it takes a few attempts and then you're still not guaranteed that it will work out. Nevertheless, this gave us a good taste of how it could be and the motivation is higher than ever to find another shipwreck to jump off from. So if you know anything, let us know in the comments, because this is a goal that just has to be done. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.